Hey guys, welcome back to another video of All Things Nerd. Uh, my name is Caleb. I am here with Nathan. What's up, guys? What's going on? How's okay, everyone so doing? Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are back here. Uh, got some information earlier on from uh, End Night Games uh, in regards to news about um, Sons of the Forest. And so it looks like here, I will go ahead and read it. This one will be a pretty short video. We'll just kind of talk about maybe our thoughts of this, but uh, it says, Hey everyone, it's been a long journey since we first started Sons of the Forest development and its growth into the biggest, most complex game we have ever made. There's still so much more we want to add items, new mechanics, gameplay balance, and more. We don't want to delay again. Uh, was that a stab at uh, the day the before? Day before or the, the day before yesterday? The day, the day before yeah. after last week's next month, last past year. Yeah, new gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't want to delay again, so have instead decided to involve the community in the continued development of this project and keep our February 23rd release date, but instead release in early access. The forest turned out to be a massive success due mostly to the awesome community and the suggestions, feedback, and bug reports the players share with us. We are really excited and hope that players want to come in, uh, come on uh, this new journey with us to make this the ultimate survival horror simulator. The team at, at night. So Ooh. my thoughts definitely on that. Um, I think it's a really good idea. Uh, I know their first game, The Forest, was in early access when that one first came out. Super well. And I think this is one of the, yeah, I think this is one of the few companies I would actually support a game that is early access. There's been a lot of titles we've played recently where um have not been great. Yeah. <laughs> haven't no. been too great, but also has been kind of a letdown and yeah. early access was kind of just more of an excuse just to get more players on board. Money. And yeah, and money too. And then like a lot of them they just did not last. Um early access was just kinda of like, hey, you're getting our game out there you know they just had that excuse to be like oh well it's early access that's why it's not that great right now but it's gonna be great later on and it's kind of like well if you're not doing anything to kind of further people's you know or um meet people's expectations and create something better in due time sure but you know if you're just kind of like using the early access title as an excuse of well it's an early access so don't judge us too hard yeah this one I think is a good excuse to use early access or a good, not excuse, but a good reason. Um, they have a game. We've seen gameplay. The day before. Yes. The day before. Are you taking notes? Uh, fantastic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yeah, we've seen gameplay. Uh, we've had a bunch of videos from IGN that we have seen. Um, so I think this is a good heads up. You know, it's a good heads up yeah. kind of saying, Hey, we've worked on our game. We want to create a really great game for you guys uh, that's going to meet your expectations, but there's also so much we want to add. It's becoming very complex. So we're going to release it early access so you guys can enjoy this. We don't have to push back the due date. Um, you guys can enjoy it, but just, hey, heads up, it's a work in progress. Yeah. And I wanted to mention like, okay, first, I'm super excited for Sons of the Forest. Like, don't get me wrong, but I'm nervous. <laughs> Anytime a company <laughs> releases something in early access, I feel like there's always a 50-50 risk because that tells me that, um, but at the same time, they are being genuine with their early access. Mm -hmm. So they're telling you, hey, this thing has problems, but we're, we're just gonna release it to you anyways. And we're just giving you a heads up, a warning, but we're gonna work through it. You know, we're not gonna delay it anymore. Right. We're not gonna keep pushing back our game. We wanna give you guys what you want. And I, I respect that. I, I really right. respect that. And, um, I'm, I'm excited for it, but at the same time, I'm nervous because when games go into early access, we, I've seen this trend, like you talked about where it's kind of like an excuse for money. They run into walls and issues. They release the game and then they get a bunch of money and it's like, oh, well, we don't really need to work hard to develop this game anymore. So we can just push out updates once a year you know, or whatever. Right. <laughs> right. And it's like, and then you kind yeah. of just fall into this money pit of a game and you don't get to see the end results quickly. Sure. It's, it'll take another, what, 10 years for this game to actually be finished. So it's, it's an iffy for me. I don't know. Right. What do you think about that? Honestly, I would say, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely the person that, uh, you know, I was not handing over my card, my visa <laughs> card, as you were saying that. <laughs> Uh, yes, <laughs> I, I definitely still would be. I would yeah. be somebody who would back up this company because I loved the forest. I know we all, you, me, and Devin, we had a heck of a time playing this game. Oh yeah, super, super fun. Um, I just remember just 
playing the forest and then super scared to play inside uh to explore the caves yeah and then once we explored it we were kind of like wow there's oh. actually a whole new a whole new world yeah. you know, exploring this game <laughs> but then also realizing there's a story yeah and it wasn't until we explored the caves that we realized there was a story um so i already know they've created a really good game uh this one i know they're gonna add like a lot more to it but it's kind of like not only have they somewhat you know they've already perfected or they know the direction they want to go having created a first game that was a really big hit um they're now creating a second game coming forward with that new knowledge of something that they've already created that people enjoy so they know what the uh, their audience is looking for yeah but also you have i get the reason why they would come out with early access is because of the fact that from what we've seen in the videos we have a complex ai system that uses um or not ai but you know we have a complex npc system um where you have like these other you know npcs that like help you out uh kevin was like one of them uh, i forget what the chick's name was with like three arms and the three legs well, his name is just kevin like yeah his name's, our new his npc name's bob <laughs> his um, name's kevin yeah <laughs> the uh people were getting confused because i saw the uh ign video the the guy has like a I think it was a british or like an australian accent so the random. way he says it sounds like he says calvin Calvin. So everybody started calling him Calvin. So then yes. they, updated the, they updated the description on the video and he was, or the comments. And he was like, hey guys, like I have a really thick accent. It sounds like it's <laughs> Calvin. And the, he was like, it's actually Kevin. <laughs> so, but, uh, you know, with that being said, they have this complex NPC system where, you know, they help you out, not only fight off people, like how other basic games would probably do. Yeah. You can actually assign them to find materials for you, specific materials to cut it up, you know, or do whatever things you, you want that NPC to do for you that work. So there's a lot of that goes into that. But then from what I've seen animations with the, the different monsters and whatnot, like there's all this different work to it, different items. I could see why they would put it in early access, but it's, I would say it's, it's different than, other early access games where like you know we'll take marauders for instance um if you guys haven't heard of marauders marauders is basically like a space world war ii version of tartar Tarkov, yeah <laughs> i've seen gameplay of that that game it looks like fun but it looks very much like a old school um an old school shooter mm. like it's it does not look very polished it, it looks very outdated and it doesn't really seem like that they had polished kind of just even the basics like the gunplay gunplay is huge in an fps game and if you don't have good gunplay it's not gonna be very fun yeah this game they have all that down it's just kind of all the more intricate sort of um you know very complex things they need to kind of you know, polish out before a release but i like that they're coming out with early access so they're not pushing that title back to work on that they're kind of like hey it's gonna be buggy <laughs> you know it might be a little buggy because there's more we want to add but you know don't let that be kind of like a warning label to you of we have nothing by it anyways yeah yeah i agree and one thing i'm super excited is to how they're going to expand the cave system like i know you mentioned that mm -hmm. you know we played so much of this game and once we got into the caves it was like holy crap there's a whole nother world here <laughs> right. um I'm excited to see how they're going to expand on that because I thought the cave system was like its own living, breathing entity in a way where it's mm -hmm. like, um, okay, so you have the on, on land, but then you also have the cave system where it's, it's like a whole separate game to itself. And right. that kind of brings the scare factor. But one thing I am excited to see is like all the new weapons and stuff they're going to be bringing. Because I remember when we went to the cave, one of the weapons you could find was the um, the Chicago or like the, the samurai sword. You remember oh, that? Oh, yeah. yeah. That was cool. And then you had moments where you had like the flinging, you know, zombie babies that would like jump at you. Yeah. <laughs> and then you had like those crazy freaking looking zombies that had like another zombie on top of it and like its head smashed in right. and you're like what is this you know abomination and then you like run away right so i'm just send excited to have those hell. moments yes yeah, send it back <laughs> to hell another thing i'm excited for and i know this is kind of weird to be excited for but i'm excited to have kind of that moment where you remember like in scary movies where you'd be you'd see like characters on the screen or like the actors where they'd be in the movie and be going through like a 
like a dark cave and like their flashlight like battery dies like that yeah. would be a cool moment to have in the forest like what if you're deep mm. down in the caves you forgot to like take more extra batteries and like your flashlight your torch dies and now you're in there by yourself in the dark like i don't know i think just moments that like that that'd be creepy that happened to me one time where because they they had a flashlight or like the headlamp too yeah they had those in the forest but i remember that happened to me i had a torch and my torch went out and I don't think I was able to create a new torch. Oh no. And all I had was my little lighter. Yes. And so I just remember like it died out and I was like, uh, pulled out like the little lighter. And then I took like two feet forward and it was like the six armed monster <laughs> that started like walking towards me. I went, Nope. And I just like exited the game. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Moments like yeah. that, you know, I'm excited for this game. It's going to be so much yep. fun. No, I'm excited for it. Like, I, I think it's a good idea they're coming out with this because I, I have faith it's going to be good when it comes out. It's, you know, one thing I could say is they might be a, I don't know if you would call them like an independent developer, but they're no, they're no EA or, you know, they're no Ubisoft. Mm. You know, they're there's far scam more you. issues. There's far more issues I've seen with those companies. Yeah. Those publishers than I've seen with most indie titles. So I, I have faith they're going to do well with this. Yeah, me too. Um, I'm excited yeah. for it. And w when's it release? It says February 23rd. February right? 23rd. So it'll be okay. releasing here in the next uh, like three weeks, basically. Oh, snap. We're closer than I thought. Man, we get Scream yeah, so 6 next month. We get it, the forest <laughs> coming up. Yeah. <laughs> this so, is cool. No, nah, I'm excited for it. But uh, any other yeah. word on this? No, uh, I'm just excited to play the game with you. I know we're going to have yeah. some cool multiplayer moments again. Oh, most uh, definitely. I know we'll, we'll probably live stream. Like, I know I'm going to pick it up, but. Yeah, I'm sure once it comes out, I'll probably live stream it on our YouTube channel. If you guys want to watch, hang out. Um, if not, I'm sure we'll come out with like some reviews and some other videos on this. Yeah, and once we play it, we'll definitely have a lot more forest content to push out. So yeah, I'm definitely. excited for that. Alrighty, well I will catch you guys later um, in another video then. But just want to up update you guys because I had seen this earlier today. Um, just kind of want to update you guys on the new news here on Sons of the Forest. Awesome. We'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Catch you guys later. All right. Peace. Take care. Bye.